Hello, and welcome to the world of pride. And I am your host, the one and only Kippy Love. And uh, the rest of the family, uh, the Love family, are sleeping, you know, and uh, I've got Precious Love over here with me, but she's investigating the the side of the house because we have basically two sides of the house and we live over here mainly and this side here it's our house but you know we have to like go in and out doors to go into the other side instead of being able to walk through like a normal house and eventually we're going to fix it to where we can put on a back porch build-in uh, add-on part and we'll be able to open up the inside doors and just use them as like that back section of the hallway. So that way we don't have to keep unlocking and locking and worry about, you know, anything like that. So, but uh, right now I'm, like I said, I'm on the other side. You can see plywood and stuff behind me and i got a ladder and all this other stuff. And uh, it's cluttered real bad over here, but I straightened it up yesterday. So at least I can sit on my couch and do videos over here when everybody else over there is sleeping or playing games and stuff. I need some quiet time. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to do a review video or a unboxing video, whatever you want to call it. And this is what we have right here. It's a new heater, a new heater for us. And it's, uh, oh, I gotta turn it this way so I can see it. Because it's Mexicano side. <laughs> or, you know, I guess I call it Mexicano. Um, it's from Mainstays 3D Electric Stove with inf uh, infrared or in whatever quartz heater. Uh, it's got a functional door, two heating set uh, settings. Adjustable thermostat, adjustable flame brightness, uh, cord wrap, cord length is six feet. Uh, some of the features is cool touch exterior, long or life life loop, what? Life like flame effect, uh, durable metal construction, three sided visibility, and easy to access. No tools required. And they've got some other ones down here, fan porch heaters, ceramic heaters, conventional heaters, radiant, and you got infrared. And it says it's got a blower on it, so it blows out the heat. And this one's got a two-star. As far as quick heat, the uh, heat with mineral humidity loss, or minimum, minimum Humidity loss, so you don't have to worry about suffocating or anything with the heat. It's a two star compared to the fan force heater. It has no stars. And then there's one star for the uh, direction heating objects, you know. So that means, I guess, in a roundabout way, it doesn't turn. So it only has one direction, you know, whereas some of the other ones, they turn left and right and some of that. And you have three star on both the heat, the room, and strong, intense heat. And you got two star where the quiet heat. And then you got active family homes. It's got three star, which three star is the best. So this one's got one, two, three, three compared to the one that I have in the other room. And it is a, a radiant heater because that one had three uh, four four three stars this one only got three three stars but the other one that i we have is a four three stars but anyway let's open her up and uh see what she looks like let's see that we've got these things taped up so well it's hard to get into them all right i'm gonna rip this tape off this way oh this one just don't want to come off does it no She's like, are you going to get that thing open? No. <laughs> it looks like they double taped it. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, let me open it up carefully. Let me make sure we don't cut ourselves on it. All right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this is 
you know, knife is or the box is really taped up. <laughs> now we turn around the other side. And cut this side. Alright, there's that one. And this one over here. Alright. Now we'll put pull everything out. Okay, this has a little sign on here. Legs, locking screws, and handles in the bottom paper tray. Okay, well this is the, I guess, paper tray, the top part. And then I take the wrapping off, or the bag off the outside of it. Now we take this part out. Oh my goodness, it's stuck to the box. Alright, there's that part. And then the legs right here. And then the instructions right here. functional opening door and you have to open the door to get to the buttons down here on the bottom one is the flame brightness the thermostat and the heat setting low and high and then I guess there's a uh, just a light that comes on for the uh, imitation wood here and then when you get it all set up then you Close the door, and it does have a magnet, magnet type thing in here somewhere where it does, uh, it sticks. So if you try to push it, lean it forward, it, it'll stick a little bit, but gravity will eventually pop it open. So let's take off the bottom part without knocking ourselves out with it. Yeah. Oh, I dropped the leg on the floor, I guess. All right, I got my leg right here. Okay. All right. That must have been on the bottom of the thing. But I've got four legs. Ta -da. And I've got some screws that go in the bottom. And these, I don't need a screwdriver. You just screw them in. Let me open this bag so we can look at them. Everything basically is pretty simple. You have a door hinge thing. And you have four of these little screws that you, they're like little wash nut things where you just turn them like this. So we're going to go ahead and put these over here on this pillow. Hopefully they don't fall anywhere. All right. So now it's time for the assembly part. But before we do that, we'll look at the instructions because everybody has to read instructions. <gasps> Stop! It's an unlikely event that you have a problem with the, the or a question about your unit you can always call us yeah whatever um but it shows you it has the important instructions the installation instruction and then the product specifications statements instructions care and then operating how to work everything and then actually showing the part list so you can take this unit apart if you have to to uh you know replace a piece maybe a light or or piece that breaks or whatever my dog acts like she's drunk and run into shit <laughs> but anyway um does have a tr troubleshooting uh guide and then a uh one year warranty but basically the instructions show that you uh you uh turn the thing upside down or whatever you put the legs on and you put the screws in and stuff with that so we got to put the knob on the door so you, all the instructions knob on the door and the legs and then you go into the next section and it shows you 
how to turn everything on. All the knobs and everything. You have the power heat switch. You switch it on and off. Uh, you have a 1000 watt or 1500 watt. Switch knob to desired heat mode. This uh, switch needs to be on. The fire indicator it will come on. To set the thermostat to the room you want it. And then your flame dial, turn it clockwise, with, will increase the brightness of the flame effect. Turn it counterclockwise, will decrease. You want to increase, you want to decrease the brightness of the flame. And then the next page we're going to look at is nothing. Because all the other stuff is just showing you how to you know, get the parts and everything for it. So, but, but let's go ahead and start with the, uh, can I get up here and sit down here? So you can help Daddy put it together. All right, come on, get up here. This is your side. Come on, get up here. Okay, come on, get up here. All right, get up here. You can help Daddy put this together. Okay, you hold the instructions. All right, you got your pillow there so you can lay down. All right, let me get the, uh, Pick it up here and we'll put the knob piece in first. So the knob piece goes right in this hole here. And you just basically, I guess, you push it in there. Yeah, you push it, push it in there. I guess as far as it goes. And that way you can just use the knob to open the door. So it looks fancy. I guess you could like leave it that way or turn it up or something, but I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, there it goes. Okay, now I got it. I turned it all the way down and it went all the way in. So now it's totally all the way in. Okay. Now, we'll put the legs on. So I'll turn it sideways. My homegirl left me, so. Yeah. Now, and this is the bottom part is the, actually where the heat comes out at the bottom and then the flame and all that stuff, the prettiness on the top. But let's see, this got to go in here. So let's turn her upside down so I can do this the right way. So I don't tear it up and keep the camera around. <laughs> all right, so one leg can go right in here. Now I gotta make sure I put it in here right so I don't tear it up. <laughs> oh, okay, that just goes like that. Get in there all the way? Okay, I guess so. Oh, I just snapped it back. Okay, that's what you gotta do. You gotta put it in there and then pull it back, snap into place. That's what happens when you when you read instructions. And this goes in there, and you turn it one turn to the right or left, and it'll lock into place so it won't come out. So, oh man, they make these things so difficult to turn. Uh, maybe I turn it this way. Uh, uh, oh my goodness gracious, people. Are you serious? Uh, uh, oh, there it goes. Now it turns. Uh, there. Now it's locked in place. All right. Now put this one in. And make sure it's in there. And then snap it back into place. Uh, there. This goes in the hole, and you screw it in there. Uh, now we turn. We gotta pick it up and turn it because we don't want to like scrape the top of it because that that make it look old again, and we don't want to do that. Now we move the plug part out so we can get over here to the corner. But they got this side a little bit close. in here and pull it back and shoot the holes right okay put this one in here yeah this one's a little tight fit because they got the they have actually put the uh what do you call it the heater part a little bit too close to this side so the so the handle doesn't want to go in all right now we'll turn this one sideways such a tight fit because the heater part is too close to one side all right, now this one, we put it in the hole in the right spot so it can go in. Ugh. They got to put it in there just 
right, or else it won't work. Oh, quit scraping it on the ground, buddy. Uh, okay, did I get it in there? Yep, got it in there. Yeah. Put this in the hole and turn it. And is it going to go in there now? Uh, there we go. Got it. All right, yeah. You can, it, that, I guess I was just matching some things, but anyway, now we got onto the wire. Okay, got onto the wire. This goes this way. And then we take. This and unscrew this. All right, come on. Throw that in the trash. And then, and it does have a little cord wrapping thing on the bottom here where you can wrap it up. All right, now yeah, let's open the legs. Put her back together. Okay, there's her legs on there. And the knob and everything. And. Now we'll see if it works. Let's plug it in and see if it works. First, got to take this part here off because they taped it around the knob. I mean, the uh, plug in piece. Uh, uh, the girl's like, hurry up so we can do something else. You take too long to make this video. Okay, throw the garbage away. This one doesn't want to come off, does it? Uh oh. Let me see if I can get the knife on it and cut it off without cutting myself. <laughs> Man, this thing is tough. Tough to get off. Man, what did it do? Super glue this thing on here? No, oh, there we go. Finally. It was a thick piece of tape or something to keep it from, you know, getting it off. All right, now we'll plug it in and see if it works. And then we'll go from there. And now I'll turn it this way. So I can get up and, and turn, plug it in. And plug it in, plug it in. Alright, ah, got it plugged in. Now we'll uh, move the camera back like this so you can see the thing once I get it ready. Alright. Now, turn this down a little bit. So you can see it in action. There we go. So now you open up this part. Oh, not high enough. Or not low enough yet. Oh, man, this thing is hard to turn. There we go. And down here is the knob. So I'm going to turn it on. Let's see, there's the flame. Makes it look like it's it's fired. So it, you can turn it to the first notch and it'll and you can see where it looks like flame. And you don't have to have the heat on, you can just turn it on, I guess. Well that's low. And then you can turn this about halfway. And this one is the brightness and lowness of the light, so you can Turn it all the way down to where you don't have the light burning. Or you can have it all the way high so it looks like that you can actually see inside. Ow, it's hot. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. But uh, it's a little warm from the lamp. But I guess the lower you turn the lamp, you know, it won't use the light as much. So I got the light probably about halfway. I got the heat about halfway. And I got on low, and then you can close the door, and it actually looks like a fireplace, which is pretty cool. And we'll probably put this one in the uh, living room, you know, to keep that part of the house warmed up. And then we have our other heater already, and that one's got a blower on it, so we'll be able to warm the house up. But anyway, you know, that's our video. Y'all have a awesome day and a perfect tomorrow, and we'll catch that scratch and post where we can meow about, hmm, I don't know. Throw a little catnip in there, and that would really smell good out in the, in the house. And I can smell the, uh, the, the, uh, what do you call it, the heat warming up. That way it'd have that hot 
smell or some of that when it first gets used, you know, it's got that smell of things, metal warming up or whatever. But anyway, we'll be back with another video later. All right, bye.